Hello everyone. Uh, this is Ayangshu Devabrata, and I have done my graduation from Ravenshaya University, Katak, and followed by my post graduation in IIT Kharagpur in geology. And by God's grace and with all the support and wishes from my friends and family, this year I have got All India Rank One in UPSC Combined Geoscientist Examination in the Geologist category, and. Uh, in this video, I am going to share some of the tips and strategies for the upcoming prelims examination and along with that, I am going to attend some of the questions that are asked by the Panjio Hub student community. And yes, I am really thankful to the Panjio Hub group uh, to give me an opportunity to be a faculty there uh, after my MSc and through my teaching period, I learned a lot of things, I refined my knowledge in structural geology. And facing the students and teaching there really helped me to build my confidence and face the personality test with less fear and more confidence. And so I am really grateful to Panjio Hub and I wish them all the best for future to teach the students better and create more and more uh, good geologists for the country. Uh, coming to the strategies and tips part, uh, before that I am going to tell everyone that there is no single fit for all strategy we all are different we are made different so that should be uh, our goal to excel our own individuality so that's why i request you that if you find anything interesting or if you find anything valuable through my words yes you can use them in your preparation and uh, practice it for your benefit but if you think that as a person i'm not adding any value to your existing preparation methods then it's up to you it's completely your choice that you should stick to that and you should go ahead to attend the examination in your own way. and second thing uh, it's not only the seven days preparation or the five days revision that matters it's the journey that matters that we have read uh, or we have experienced for the full five years uh, in graduation and post graduation so that's why i request all of you to have confidence that whatever you have uh, read or whatever you have uh, written or practiced or the seminars the discussions with friends the examinations that uh, you have written all those things will be helpful uh, in this examination because we don't know from where the question will come and at that moment uh, something will strike in our mind to help us to get the answer so coming to the questions uh, the first question that i got uh, it is that the, in the last few days of the prelims which subject should i focus more on geology or gs so in the answer i would always tell that uh, it's up to you whether you think geology is your strong point or gs is your strong point so if you feel that in geology you can do better without any uh, much more intensive hard work in the last seven days then you can focus uh, switch your focus to gs more and in gs you there are multiple topics like political science history economics and uh, environmental current affairs so among these whichever topic you find that that, that is your strength you should stick to that uh, i would tell because in this seven days whatever you have read throughout your preparation just keep revising them and more and more revision would surely help in the examination and if you feel that no gs is your strong point you can uh, do good without any significant uh, study then no problem you can put focus on geology and revise all the notes and uh, books whatever you have read in all those five years so i think uh, that this would help you the second question i got that my preparation is not that good and i feel there are more students who are better than me so will i stand any chance to qualify for the prelims and in this in this question i can only say that i would relate to you more because even my preparation was not that good for the prelims I only prepared GS uh, in a better way rather than the geology part and in terms of better students uh, 
there are always students who have prepared more than you but there will be always students who have prepared less than you so i would request that uh, you don't need to focus much on those things because it is only 7 days left and whatever you have read just revise them and who knows that whatever question comes you might uh, got them correct without even reading all those things because in the examination there are many factors and i personally believe uh, that more than the preparation the execution in the pressure environment that will decide uh, your fate in the prelims and yes you can definitely qualify for the prelims if you analyze the previous year's statistics or the previous year cut off marks then you can clearly decide that uh, how many questions you need to attempt how many risk you can take and how many uh, marks you can score so that it would be helpful to qualify the prelims and also it would be helpful to get an overall good rank in the examination okay the third question is which specific topics of geology should i focus more in the last phase of my preparation and i'm also adding the gs part here uh, for the geology you stick to the syllabus see the prelim syllabus heading by heading you can revise them and just go through the basic books and basic notes that you have been uh, reading through all those uh, three or four years don't try to overburden yourself too much by putting too much information and uh, stick to your strength i would always uh, recommend you uh, also for the gs if you cannot cover many topics of gs just see from which topics the questions are coming more in the upsc and you can follow that same pattern in your study and by selectively studying you can appear or you can uh, attempt most of the questions and another thing is you can also correlate the prelim syllabus with the main syllabus so if uh, if a if a heading is given in the prelim syllabus and you are not able to find that under that heading which topics should i study so you can clearly uh, see in the main syllabus that the elaboration of the headings are given there for example if uh, ore form is written in the prelim syllabus i'm telling just for an example if ore form is given here which ore forms should you study then the detailing is given in the main syllabus that stratiform and strata bound ores so these are the things you need to study so similarly uh, in the uh, other topics also hydrogeology or economic geology stratigraphy which ever topics are mentioned in the syllabus they are the important ones just revise them and give your best effort next question is any particular book or source you can suggest that would be helpful for quick revision uh, revision will help if you have read or if you have gone through those sources before uh, that is really helpful or at least the content the book or rather than the book or the source the content matters if you are aware about that content then the revision will be much quicker and much better and also uh, you can go through some youtube videos or any online resources uh, audio or video resources whenever you find any free time so regarding the books i can tell uh, k m bangar or g b mahapatra uh, or earth materials if you have read i am only telling that if you have read this source then you can quickly revise them so that all topics of different domains and different uh, subjects will be covered at once within a very uh, few hours so you can uh, similarly if you have read any book in which there are vast topics given diverse range of topics are given then you can follow that book and the content will be automatically revised similarly for any notes or any uh, like pdf copies or any books uh, you have referred to so that uh, you can the next question is uh, things to be taken care of at the last phase of my preparation so the most important thing uh, we all know that is the revising and not, not taking too much overburden by extra information the second thing uh, from my personal experience i can tell that 
keeping a cool head and take less stress uh, and even if the stress comes uh, you can do any activity uh, which would, would make you relaxed uh, just the way like you can do uh, yoga you can follow exercise meditation or listening to any music so all those things which makes you feel better you can follow that to be mentally fit and physically fit enough to sit for the examination and also uh, another thing that you can take control of your diet and your water intake to keep you hydrated and to fulfill the nutrition and also it would help you to increase your concentration and uh, retain the information for a longer time uh, and the last question uh, I got that I'm an undergraduate MSc first year student how can I prepare myself for the UPSC combined geoscientist examination so for the MSc first year student uh, you can always see the syllabus and what things you need to study you can talk to your seniors or at least you can self analyze the past paper patterns or uh, you can take your time take your time to understand the pattern how the questions are being asked and which things are your strong point which are your weak points so you can make your planning your own strategies and also uh, don't neglect your uh, college studies because whatever we study in our classrooms and whatever we study for the college examinations those materials those information also helps us in such kind of examination especially in the men's examination so and for the on undergraduate students i can tell that be relaxed you have sufficient time whatever you are studying uh, uh, make uh, yourself comfortable with that and keep studying more and more interact with your surroundings and i always recommend collective learning even if you cannot do group study at least uh, converse with your friends regarding geology you can watch multiple internet resources to build your uh, knowledge base and those are the things like you have time so you can work on your abilities and surely you can excel in the upcoming examination whenever you are appear so that is the message i am giving to the undergraduate students and with this uh, i will conclude this video i again thank you panji hub team for giving me this opportunity to share my experience and i am wishing all the best to all the aspirants who ever attending the upsc cgsc examination this year and i wish you all the best and please don't lose hope even if you uh, do even if you don't do well in prelims keep your chins high for the mains examination and for the personality test because it's a long journey and only the hope and the faith in yourself can help you to go through it and i, I am sure that you all will do well in your examination thank you